What's going on guys? It's Hella Beats back here with another video. And I haven't done one of these in a really long time, I know. I'm just not sure if you guys want this. Like, if you enjoy this video, when it's over, let me know and I will do more of these. I just, I don't know man, I've just been focusing on beats. But anyways, today I figured I would switch it up and uh, do something I usually wouldn't do. So I'm gonna try making a beat out of a Fortnite dance emote. And I had a really hard time picking which emote to use because like honestly I wanted to use the take the L emote like the the one that looks like Pennywise dancing but really I think the squad kick emote is a little bit better because not as many people have done like remixes of it because the take the L uh, emote has already had like a bunch of remixes done so and this one doesn't even sound like it would be a trap beat at all so uh, here's the emote if you don't know what it sounds like All right, so that just basically loops. So um, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is make it like a little bit faster. Like it's at around 135 BPM. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that 150. So this is what that sounds like at 150. You can tell it's a lot faster. Alright, so there's that. So the first step, I guess, would be to go ahead and add the kick in. Alright, so here's the kick. I basically just laid out a really simple pattern for it. So there's that. It's pretty simple. Alright, so the next thing I want to add is a snare. I'm just going to start off with a pretty basic snare. Alright, so it's already laid in there. It's just a uh, basic one-shot snare. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spice this up a little bit. All right, so that snare was pretty boring, honestly. I mean, it's just one hit. Um, so I went ahead and added in some little snare rolls and added in some claps as well, just to make it a little more interesting. If you want to hear what that sounds like by itself, it's right here. Alright, so the next thing I added was some hi-hats and a snap to layer the snare and to give it a little bit more movement so it's not as boring. So, here's what that sounds like. by itself it sounds like this All right, it's sounding pretty good right now, but I feel like it needed a little bit extra on the uh, for the snare. So I reversed the snare and had like a build up effect. All right guys, I'm severely pissed right now. Uh, my video stopped recording halfway through it. So anyways, uh, what I was saying is I added the reverse snare effect and then added in the hi-hats. Threw in this little fill in there. Threw in a crash. 
And that's pretty much the drums. I mean, essentially, that's that's everything. Um, the next thing I added in was some bass. And honestly, I don't really like this bass all too much. Um, I wanted to use some 808s, but they kind of just clashed when I tried to add it in. And it didn't really fit. So I just went with this uh, nice Moog bass in uh, Omnisphere. That's literally the name of it, nice Moog bass. Um, and then added in some one knob fatter. And Waves plugins, by the way, uh, I'm not sponsored in any way, but Waves plugins are like insane. Like the, the one knob fatter filter is crazy. Like it will take a flat bass that has no thump and you just throw this on there and it's booming like instantly. So um, that's pretty much it for the drums. And then I added in some stuff for the intro. Uh, added in, let's see here. This uh, build up effect with the snare. Threw some automation on it. Along with some transition effects for the intro. I got this little uh, this uh, drum fill in the background. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, give me some feedback, let me know if you want more of this kind of stuff, and I will definitely do it. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.